Taurus. Hello. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back out to you guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. Please give me clear messages for the sign of Taurus. What messages are coming through for the sign of Taurus? Please and thank you. Oh, I really want to see what that one is. That is. You know, don't, please don't. That one to pop out. So you have hookup as your overall energy. Either you you like are thinking about hooking up with somebody or somebody is thinking about hooking up with you. And I'm not getting like just hooking up, okay? I'm getting like somebody wants to like get in bed with you and like you could be fantasizing about this person as well. But there's someone here okay first of all currently going on in the current energy right now that is breaking up with a third party here there's a third party interference and there's a breakup going on in this current moment or that's about to occur you're gonna find out about it and it's gonna be shocking you're gonna be like what when you find out but Let me clarify this. Let me clarify this real quick. Because you're single right now. Whoever this message is for, you're single right now. Because is this you? Who is give me this? Give me this. Give me this. Oh yeah. Somebody's going somebody wants to date you. They want to spend, they want to finesse you as well. Someone wants to date. This is gonna be like it's going to shock you. Y'all are attracting someone who's bold as hell. I'm gonna tell you that. Whoever you're attracting, this person is bold as hell. They are bold as hell. And they are, it's like, first of all, they view you as like their soulmate. And they will pop the question like fast too. But they want to finesse you. It's going to be unexpected to you. Like, either about you hearing about their breakup with someone else or the fact that this person... I'm getting that you might not even know because I'm getting, like, what's going to be unexpected to you is that this person is going to, like, tell you, like, they think you're their soulmate or it's, like, them coming at you like they are romantically um, interested in you because they... It's like they feel, um, like... They feel like this was a faded meeting between the two of you. Like it wasn't, you know, just something that just happened. 
And when they met you, they realized like, like, because things weren't going good in a connection that they were in. This was an unhealthy connection that they were in and they knew it was something better. And then they met you. And it's like you two go on a date and then the freaking wedding. But this is pretty risky. But there's a lot of romantic feelings. What the heck is going on with this third party crap? Okay, let's see. Let me get this other deck over here. Good, we are, okay, good. Let me get this other deck. Because, can we get someone that is single? We don't need no one in a connection. going on with these readings tonight who is Taurus are y'all dealing with the Aries It's a lot of talking that's going on, a lot of gossiping. This person wants to have a conversation with you. There's a sense of like once someone reaches some sort of like settlement they want to like come straight towards you like chase like chase right after you but that's not what's yeah they ready to explode because you got a pressure cooker right here what is going on with this? It's like, because they're begging and they're dead focused on you too. It's like, they're just trying to reach this settlement and then they are about to come chasing right after you. Oh my gosh. Oh, did someone from your past get married and you guys, were you aware of it? Did someone from, it's like, that's why I'm getting like, someone from your past got married. Oh, okay. This is just. I'm sorry, Taurus. I'm just like, what is up with this readings today? 
Let me get this other deck real quick. Let me get this one because I don't want to see no third party, nothing. Someone feels connected with you. Someone feels connected with you in the fifth dimension. And they learn they're feeling like they learned a tough lesson here. They want to rise above the drama. They're hoping that you will surrender. But they're saying that like, they feel like your ego has inflated. And they're saying that there is like a lot of growth. There has been like a lot of growth financially, but there's been like a lot of growth in your life in this time of separation. And, but they feel like this has inflated your ego. So it's gonna be difficult for them to come back. Yeah, it's like your overall energy is pause. You're just like slow things down because you're really just seeking solitude and separation as your outcome is solitude and separation. You're not trying to rush into anything, especially with this person. I'm not even getting that you even trust this person. So it's like you will rather stay in solitude and separation from this person. Yeah, it's like you two mirror each other. You literally went from feeling like you could not walk away from this person to um, now you're moving out of like this dark phase in your life towards something much better. Um, but it's been like a long time coming. This has, this, this has taken you some time to move towards something better. It's definitely has taken you some time. Some of you guys could have relocated but I'm saying like you guys will are like moving towards like a period in your life where you're going to be celebrating and having like a lot of good times here with friends and just like really enjoying yourself, especially around the, uh, the summertime, like within the next three months, you're going to find yourself like truly enjoying like the company of friends and people that you really trust. It's like you don't, this person is, they're going to want to come towards you and they're going to want to prove to you, like they're going to want to like, it's like they're fighting to show you like that this relationship does have potential because you don't see it anymore. And it's like now that you don't see it anymore, they're wanting to prove it to you because you're now protecting your energy. You're not opening up to this person anymore. It's like you do have love for this person. You do have love for this person. And there are times that you like reminisce and you feel nostalgic about this person. But you're not willing to open yourself back up to them. But this person is really missing you. And it's like they're saying that you have balanced things out in your life and things are going really well for you. 
there, yes. You're letting this person go though. Or at least this is why I'll say you'll have two options. There is one that you're letting go. But the thing is, is that what you don't realize is that both of these options do, both of these options do have the potential to be a long-term committed relationship in your life. But you are basing your decision off of, you're really going within and you're basing your decisions off of your uh, intuition here. And so you're releasing one of these people from your life because you don't feel like they can give you what you deserve. And the other person, you feel like this person can offer you what you deserve. And this is the one you're holding on to. Because I'm seeing that you are definitely establishing a family here with someone. Yes, the emperor popping up. Someone that's coming in the two of cups. Someone, you're finding a true companion uh, here after a grieving period in your life. And this is someone they're not going to initially reveal how they feel. They're going to observe you for some time. Because this person, they do struggle with expressing themselves romantically. But once, but they like, they, they express themselves like romantic, romantically in different ways. Like they don't just like, you know, up and express themselves, you know, like how you would expect it. They have other ways of expressing themselves like, um, romantically. What do we want? We did those. Oh, here. Yeah, by summertime. Summer by summertime, some of you guys will be in a committed relationship. Or you're at least gonna meet someone that you're gonna end up falling in love with you. Or you're gonna someone that's gonna end up falling in love with you. But it's like uh some of you guys, someone you're gonna meet someone that's gonna be very healing uh in your life. And I'm getting that there will be a decision because someone's gonna put up a fight. Like, someone's going to fight for your love. They're going to put up a fight to be with you. But you guys are listening to your heart here. It's like, you know who is better for you. And there's someone that is just like, they are just very healing for your soul. And this is the person that, like, you want to be in your life. But you have, like, here's the thing, Taurus. You have people that, like, prey on you here. And it's like, you guys know this. It's like they want the information that some of you guys like have like insight and they they want to know what you know on them, like what you know about them. Someone may feel like you have information on them, about them, and they want to come get it. They feel like someone has given you some information on them. And they want to know. And it's like this person is like coming towards you kind of aggressive too.
okay there's a situation there's someone that's headed in your direction this is slowly developing this connection is slowly developing and it's going to bring in a lot of stability in your life as well yeah a lot of stability a lot of balance here this person is going to help center you this is like the perfect match for you as well Yes, this person's like the solution to all of your problems. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's going to feel like this person fixed. Like they came in and they were like the solution to help fix the problems that you were. Because it's almost like you were, it, you're doing good on your own. But it's like there are certain things that it's like you're seeking direction on. And it's like this person comes into your life and you know what? The ego and the moose. Because the ego popped up twice in your reading. So for some of you guys, the ego is significant or it will be significant. And I'm getting to your person. Because I'm getting like the uh, moose is representing you. Because I'm getting that you're spending time alone. And it's like you're in like this calm, cool, and collected type of energy. Like you come across as being very confident. But it's like at the same time, it's like... Um, it's like you're, you come across as like powerful, independent. But it's like you're spending time alone attitude is everything so the moose is your energy but it's like this person that's coming into your life they're in like this eagle energy they're it's like they challenge the status quo opportunity new hope longevity they're proud in the visual it's like clear vision and perspective past present future It's like they want it all with you. But at the same point, like with this person, because both of these cards, so with this card, it talks about the past, present, and the future. And right next to it, you have the compass. So they help give you a sense of direction. Some of y'all have not had like that sense of direction in your life. Like you, you're not sure as to where things are headed in your life. You never quite had that sense of direction. And when this person comes into your life, they help give you like that sense of direction. It's like, it's kind of been like things are like all over the place. That's why when they come in, they help because there's, you have many layers, but they help to balance things. They help to bring balance into your life. They're that key that you need. And they're coming in. But it's developing. It's still developing. So, be patient. This is what I have. These are the messages that came through for you at this time. Taurus, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care.